closer to our home in Toronto. The Radiohead concert and the death of one of the crew members when part of the, the stage collapsed, the scaffolding. What have you heard about that? Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty scary event. Basically, they were set to perform. Radio was set to perform over the weekend in Toronto at uh, Downsview Park. And uh, they had uh, set up the whole stage. Uh, and before they came, before the actual concert was going to take place, a lot of the scaffolding, the, the roof of the venue fell down, collapsed, oh. uh, causing three people to be injured. One was pretty, uh, pretty badly injured, was transported to the hospital. Two were assessed there at the scene. And one person, unfortunately, did pass away. Um, we did see that Radiohead had posted a tweet before saying, look, they can't, uh, we have to cancel the concert today, unforeseen circumstances. Please do not make your way here to the venue uh, because the concert will not be going on tonight. So uh, obviously a sad time. You never want to hear about a stage collapsing. They're trying to figure out what caused the collapse, though. Well, thank goodness that the concert was impacted with all the concert goers as well. This is, ironically, yeah. their last stop in their North American tour. Uh, yeah, it was, you know, and uh, I, I had just seen them a couple weeks back as well, and uh, they put on a very good show, but I know that this is probably a sad moment for them. I'm sure, no doubt. Also, sad moment, Los Angeles, Rodney King was uh, found dead in his pool. What do you know about that? Yeah, huge news over the weekend. Uh, Rodney King, who was 47, year old, 47 years old, was found at the bottom of his pool by his fiance. Uh, she claims that uh, on uh, over the weekend, yesterday morning about 5 a.m., she heard him yelling and screaming outside, came outside to find him naked, uh, banging on glass. And then uh, she said she went to go grab her phone, heard a splash, and found him at the bottom of the pool. However, her, uh, her friends and friends of Rodney are saying that they're not believing her story. So they, they told cops I, they want them to look into her story a little bit more. I guess she kept changing up her story every time she told a new friend. Oh. And uh, they just don't feel confident she's being honest. However, she did say that he was drinking all day the day before, smoking marijuana. And, uh, and then so she went, when she went to bed at 2 a.m., she said he was still up drinking. So uh, obviously they're going to look into this a little bit more, find out what's going on. The cops are saying at the moment. They don't suspect any foul play, but obviously we'll wait for any kind of toxicology, all that other stuff to come out. Yeah, he had struggled with, uh, since the race riots and since the multi-million dollar settlement, he had struggled with substance abuse, admittedly so. Yeah. All right, Dax, thanks yeah, exactly. so much for joining us again. We'll talk to you next Monday. Can't wait for it. Have a good weekend. And if you want to watch TMZ, they are here weeknights right here on CW23. With that